In the autumn of 1812, the British army was in Spain, but its advance through Madrid towards France was checked by the French, who far outnumbered them. With ammunition and equipment running desperately low, Viscount Wellington's half-fed and poorly clothed army was forced to retreat into Portugal. During the remaining months of 1812 and into the spring of 1813, the British army was retrained and reorganized. Wellington's army, reinforced from Britain and numbering 80,000 men, was now ready to advance again. In May, Wellington crossed the frontier back into Spain and moving swiftly through the country and the mountains, he swooped down on the French army, encamped near Vittoria. The French army, led by Joseph Bonaparte, who had been placed on the throne of Spain by his younger brother Napoleon, moved to check the advance of the British army. Four o'clock in the misty dawn of June the 21st, the British army and their allies were in position and attacked the French main force. At first, French cannon checked the Allied advance, but the British artillery opened fire and within half an hour had so weakened the enemy that the general advance was able to continue and for 12 hours the battle raged on.
At four o'clock in the afternoon, after 12 hours of fierce fighting, the French were forced to fall back on Vittoria. The British had won the day. The Battle of Vittoria put an end to French hopes in Spain. It was a glorious success for Viscount Wellington, who was promoted Field Marshal, and upon his return to England at the conclusion of the campaign, was created Duke of Wellington. <laughs>